Let's take a look at using Larian's built-in scripts to make your own day-night cycle in Divinity Original Sin. Go ahead and load up the editor here. Open up my test mod. First I'll just go ahead and show you what I've achieved so far. Go over to my town, place my character, keep an eye on the shadows, the torches. I have the cycle sped up rapidly just for the purposes of showing it off. You can see the character over here has some minor scheduling. He'll go over and light the candles or put them out. You can see the shadow moving across sunset. Go ahead and look over here. I have these torches set up every time the event fires for changing the cycle to turn on and off. Shadows moving across. So here go the torches. Sunset. Nightfall. Goes and switches the candles. Let's go ahead and look at, under the hood, what makes it run. Stop the game. The first thing you need to do is get the scripts from the main game, Divinity Original Sin, into your mod. Specifically, the AAA First Goal script. You can get this script from the main game itself using an extractor like LS Tools, which you can find on the mod forums for Larian. You can also get it from the standalone project template, which I'll link in the video notes. A couple of modders made that, and it has a lot of baseline scripts you might need for various systems in the game. Let's go ahead and look at my atmosphere settings. I created them on a per hour basis for the most part, except during nighttime where they don't need to change much. Starting at 1 a.m. And then you can cycle through it, watch the shadows move. The atmosphere trigger itself handles the transition between the atmospheres so the shadows don't jerk it between positions they actually slide over and I'm still kind of working on the visuals for the sunset especially to make it look right but this is good enough for now all right now that we have the atmospheres let's go ahead and look at the actual scripts I mentioned the AAA First Goal script. That is Larian's script from Divinity Original Sin. It has useful systems for much of the game, but one of them in particular is the game clock, and that's what I use to actually set the cycle. The first thing you need is this game hour. This very simply just determines how long each hour in the game is. 
I have it set for about two seconds just to show it off in the video. Normally it's five minutes. This is in milliseconds. The second thing you need to know is the time setting. This database has the day in the game for the first number. The second number is the current day hour. So in this case, it is the first day, 4 a.m. And the last number is the total hour count. So this counts how many hours in the game you've played, which are actually five minutes long. In this case, four, since we're starting the game at 4 a.m. Larian's default setting is 10 a.m., but I wanted to show the sunset off right when you start the game. Or the sunrise, that is. Finally, in the init section of the goal, which starts it right at the beginning of the game, it runs the start day timer loop here, which is a procedure referenced later in the file in the KB section down here. So let's go ahead and find it. It just sets the game hour in a timer, so it pulls the game hour from the database up here, puts it in a variable, and then creates a timer based on that variable. So it creates the timer down here, and once it's finished, it sets the next hour by adding an integer. Now let's go ahead and look at the file I created. Just the day-night cycle file for my mod. I like to keep the Larian files separate from my own files. So these are what actually change the atmosphere because obviously the hour clock count from Divinity Original Sin doesn't do that by itself. The first the first thing it does in the init section is set the atmosphere to the early morning, which is 1 a.m. in my mod. Then, after each timer finishes, the timer is called time of day, and it just keeps reusing that same timer name based on the procedure in AAA first goal. So here, the first timer that'll fire off, because we're starting at 4 a.m., is the 5 a.m. timer, and that sets the atmosphere to the sunrise at 05, which is my sunrise. It does some minor scheduling I have implemented from the scripting engine here in the editor, and it sets the event morning torches which I use to fire off the torches based on an item script file, which is much more efficient than doing this manual scripting up here, character move to, and then you have to name each character. That's kind of a pain. But if you do it in an item script, it's much more efficient. You can just add that script to every item. And you have to custom import that yourself to make it work. So then I just have it going through each hour, ends at 6, sets it to the 6 a.m. This is another example of doing the fires manually as opposed to the global event and tying it to a script file. And each one goes through 7, 8, 9, 10. And finally get to the sunset and nightfall stage. One thing that's important to mention is in your atmosphere trigger, which you can see right here, If you make the atmosphere trigger global, it will break immediately. Do not do this. You'll have to remove it with LS tools to fix it.
So that's pretty much how you use a Larian game clock to make your own day-night cycle. You have to manually create all of these different, different atmospheres, but I think it's worth it in the end so you can get the proper shadow transitions. And doing more advanced NPC scheduling than what I have currently implemented would require a lot more character scripting, which I'll get to eventually. But this is pretty neat for now.